the class and does everything right. Mm. And you can expect that this child, like when the teacher leaves the room, is going to tell the teacher who mucked up while they were out or they said they weren't silent or anything like that. They weren't doing their work. You've always got that one kid at the back, though. The naughty kid at the one back. One that throws the dusters at the one at the front. Probably. But also the one that doesn't quite get it and seems to ask a lot of stupid questions and can't see the kid at the front eyes roll because they're there to be educated and I don't know why you're asking such stupid questions. Well, I equate Channel 10 to be like that. They're sort of like... like Ralph Wiggum. Well, they television. are. They, they sort of are. And that's quite funny you say that because the only thing that I think that saved Channel 10 for a lot of years was The Simpsons at 6 p.m. Oh, how about this? Just a quick off track in our speed round because, you know, it's a speed round. Yep. Disney Plus launched in the States not long ago. And no, it had, oh, I did, yes. It has the entire back catalogue of The Simpsons. Yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah. They, they f***ed up. They've, 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 they've stretched it to widescreen, so you can't see any of the visual gags. Yes. And they're like, oh, we'll fix it next year. Ah, uh, excuse me, Disney. Yeah, you're the first as well, they now own the franchise. The first that came out and just went, oh, hang on, Han shot first. Oh, no, let's change that explosion. No, let's that- put dumb animals in the Tatooine and Hoth. No, that was they Lucasfilm. Can't. Lucasfilm changed that before it went to Disney. So blame well, Lucasfilm. Well, they own the rights now, so it's Disney's fault. No, well, George Lucas. Okay, George <laughs> Lucas is at fault. For, George Lucas. You've now lost my tangent here. Sorry. The only thing that saved Channel 10 was The Simpsons and then Neighbours at 6.30. Now, Neighbours isn't even on the main channel. It's on f***ing 11. Not that I want to watch it. Not that I want to watch it. Now, you're thinking, hang on a minute, Neighbours is sold to over 200 countries all around the world, massive in England. It's huge in England. So is Home and Away. And right? Foster's, but you don't say us. No, it's it. not. It's it, That's a myth. I don't know where that <laughs> started from. It's a myth. No one likes Foster's. Like, I've seen grown men at Dan Murphy's having to stock a shelf with Foster's. And they're sort of carrying it away from them themselves, like like it's nuclear waste. Like they don't want to get close to it. Okay. Yeah. No one likes Foster's at all. But Channel Ten shot themselves in the foot by letting the Simpsons be gone from their network, yeah. and they and basically we know why their owner is CBS. So CBS in the United States is basically the major shareholder of the Ten Network here in Australia. Okay. Mm-hmm. They let so many good things go from that network. The, the V8 supercars were on there, gone. Big Brother was on there, gone. Neighbours, they moved to another digital channel because they wanted to focus on more news and current affairs with the project and don't even get me started on that. Now they're putting in bids for things like the Melbourne Cup. So they got it. One viewer said he only lasted 30 minutes watching the coverage of Australia's biggest race day and labelled it trashy. Now, this comes after the coverage of Derby Day. Is. If you want to watch the Melbourne Cup and you're going to have a serious punt on it and all that kind of thing, you're going to go down to the local establishment. The local watch em- it on Sky. Watch it on Sky, the local Emporium of mm. Ale. Mm. You're going to mm. watch all these races, all that kind of thing, because you can get your bet on. Yep. You can get your bet on, all that kind of thing. So anyway, people labelled it as absolute rubbish. It was full of technical glitches and cringeworthy interviews. They lamented the fact that Bruce McAvaney was missing from the coverage. It's like having the NRL Grand Final and not having Ray Rabbits Warren commentating on that magnificent try in the corner with Latrell Mitchell. It's now 8 0 Sydney Roosters over the Canberra Raiders. Like, that's going to be a sad day when we don't have Ray Rabbits Warren. Oh, oh sorry, that was an East Lake. <laughs> That was a bit of an East Lake, wasn't you it? You kind of descended into the whole commentary team there, but that's okay. I did. I did. Okay. That's okay. But the veteran Melbourne Cup caller lost the gig when 10 beat out seven for the rights for the carnival. Now, this is where social media lit up. But they, for 10, Channel 10 focused more on, on the drunken dumb arsery, fart arsing around um, uh, Flemington, s- mate, rather than the, the horses and the trainers and the, the glamorous side of it. They just went, oh, look at this chicken, a fascinated tid, boozed up to her eyeballs, fallen over in a shrub. That was the host. You want to focus on the drunken dumb arsery? It was the <laughs> freaking on air team from Channel 10. I can tell you what, at my workplace, as soon as the Melbourne Cup was run and won mm. off the TV, we, we, we didn't even put it on. It year. went to another channel. It could, we couldn't stand it. We could not absolutely stand mm. it. As soon as it was done, off it goes, piss off, you're out of here. We have a large projector that normally projects status and things on the wall, very boring numbers, 
And um, usually for big events like that, we will flick on the telly and, you know, put it up on the wall for everyone to see. And this year, no one even bothered. We are just like, yeah. who cares? And then you got the people like, I'm going to protest the Melbourne Cup and all that kind of thing. This thing's been running for about 150 years, okay? Yeah, yeah. The treatment of horses back then was never an issue. It only became an issue when... Well, it became a hot button issue because it was something people could get behind. But when did when was the year? What year did the world snowflake? When did they snowflake? I say twenty twelve. Twenty twelve is the that, snowflake. That was, year. that was that was what the Mayans were actually going for. It wasn't the end of days. It wasn't the end of the world of like fiery apocalypse. It was actually just a f- tart apocalypse. Yeah, and it was like you know on the first day of twenty thirteen, it was like oh my god, I'm offended. How can you call it a new year? What if it wants to identify as an old year? These are the these are the comments that some people were making on Twitter. For example, the Melbourne Cup was just called on TV. The big dance. No, no, and no. <laughs> what about this one? I can't believe how disgraceful your coverage has been of the Melbourne Cup from technical issues and cringy interviews with nobodies, even zero video on the Victoria Derby. You had to tell the, vi- the viewers who was leading. Disgraceful. So Channel 10, my message to you is, f*** off off big time if you see me in the street for a man in the street interview i'll tell you to fuck off and if you think of sitting next to me to the theater i will break your <laughs> camera and you could fuck off and i'll give you directions of where to fuck off and it's not even on terra firma it was poor it was shit your shit your news is shit your news programs are shit project shit and your programming is shit yes who the f- names a f- channel peach well, yeah, what is that about? You know, Peach. you know, in the emo- in the emoji world, that's an ass. That's an ass. What's well, at least the next? They didn't call it eggplant. What's the next f-ing channel? Eggplant. Yeah, f-ing get it right. There's this landlord in the UK who rents out this unit or this flat to some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been a real. I said twat. I'm going to say to them. You know what he did? Is this the this is the heater thing? Is this it? is the thermostat, the control, because they pay the rent, which includes the heating bill. But he's put basically a, a clear cage around the thermostat that they can't. So they can't get into it. They can't get into it. It's glued. There's not even screws that they can get into it. They can't adjust the heat. So if it goes really cold, they're going to freeze inside this flat. This f- landlord has basically done that because he's realised that, oh, shit, hang on, I've marked up. I included rent and And the heating heating bill in the rent. Mm. So if it's cold, they're Now, if my landlord did that to me... I'd be knocking that off the wall with a sledge. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And going, I'm paying for this. Yeah. We've, or, we've we've signed an agreement. That's what I'm paying. Oh, you know Sorry, what? bro. That's it. Make up your own little perspex case and put the rent check inside it and just give it to him. <laughs> so he can't get into yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Actually, no. You know what you did in high school? Uh, as, <laughs> which, as, which time? Okay, so as it was it, it uh-huh, yes. did electronics and he had this metal box. So there used to be like um, metal boxes that you get to put electronics in and all that kind of stuff. What he did... Um, it he had a little note on top of it that said sh- "shake me." No, it said "do not shake." Oh, do I not used reverse psychology because I was edgy. So I think he had a mercury switch in it. Yeah, it did. So he had a mercury switch in it, and if you know what that means, is mercury is conduct it does conduct electricity. Yep. to set off the thing. So it said "do not shake." It's a metal box. As soon as you shake it, what happened? It zapped you. It zapped you. At three hundred and ninety-seven volts. How many amps? None. None. So, but it still gave you a zap. It was like a. You remember the clickers out of a um the piezo, the heater, the piezo heat. clickers. Yeah, it was like one of them, but in a fancy box. Yeah, but still gave you a shock. Yeah. Did you hand it to teachers? Yeah. No, I, actually, what I did is I I made it and put "do not shake" on it, and then when I was getting like my pencil case and my books and things out for class, I'd get it out and just put it on my desk next to all my gear. And as a teacher or someone had wandered by, they go, "Oh, what's that?" Does it, does it, does it? I'm like, oh, I did say don't shake it. Yeah, I remember this. I, got I think I turned this to thing. you in one class and I just went, you know what I'm picturing in my head right now about you? And you went, what? And I went, you're very, very quiet. I'm hunting tea joys. <laughs> or other dumb f- Other student. dumb f- So anyway, you made this box up and it shocked you. Yeah, it was a shock, shocky, zappy thing, like the Joker's zip, zip, zip thing. 
Yes. I haven't seen that movie yet. Have you seen it yet? No. I want to see Joker. Very much seen Joker. What were we talking about? Uh, the Landlord and the Heat. The Landlord and the Heat. So anyway, he's gone. <laughs> you can tell I haven't got my computer in front of me. Um, he's gone and burned this cage. Uh, fair or not? No. Does he get the ass of the week? Oh, he's, he's right up there with Peach of the Week. Actually, you know what? This We have to decide this at the end of the podcast All whether right. there's going to be the three that sat next to me in the theatre. It's going to be hardcore. It will be. Blokes get horny as. <laughs> Not going to deny it. <laughs> blokes, blokes get horny. And uh, yeah, we do. when they're out on, on the piss, their number one goal, if they're single, <laughs> get a root. is to try and cop a tear. <laughs> right? This 26-year-old has been filmed thrusting at a pile of leaves <laughs> with his... He went down trow, ran the ankles. He's been jailed for eight weeks. <laughs> now, I don't know whether or not the PC plod that turned up to arrest him there in the parking lot at some pub in the UK. I reckon they let him finish? Do vegans and, and earth activists count dead leaves as necrophilia? Oh, good question. If you're a f- tard out there, <laughs> can you let us know? Yeah, the Burbal AU, Burbal AU at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah please. Or do you jump onto the Burbal AU Facebook page. And let us know. Um, he abandoned the missionary position and scuttled away into nearby bushes after the Premier Inn staff shouted at him to clear off. <laughs> now, he hid in the bushes for 10 minutes before sheepishly emerging when police arrived at the hotel in Stockport in Greater Manchester. Yeah, Short- you're Nick, sunshine. <laughs> Listen to this. Shortly before 8 p.m. He must have been on it hard. He was on the cans hard and All early. Day. Now, the bloke told officers he was mortified by his lewd act, which took place in a car park outside the Beef Eater pub. <laughs> Their families were eating, having consumed a cocktail of booze, cannabis, and cocaine. There it is again! Yeah, there's mobile phone footage of him apparently trying to have sex with a pile of leaves. It was shown at the magistrate's court where he admitted outraging public decency and possessing cannabis. <laughs> now, the madge, the beak's gone. Think about your life. Make sure you do. Go out and seek help. Unfortunately for you, it is you that's found yourself in this position, so... What, the missionary position? Well, there was a statement read in court. An unnamed hotel worker described how he and a colleague became aware of a male acting suspiciously (laughs) in the hotel car park. It says, we saw a white male with his trow down and we could see his bum. There was nothing between me and this male. He was about a car length away from me and he appeared (laughs) to be having sex. (laughs) At one stage, I shouted at him. I said, what are you doing, you dirty bastard? Then he leapt up. Pulled his trousers up and sat in the bushes. Now, <laughs> I'll show you a photo there, as of the actual uh, outside the pub. There. There's not that many leaves there. No. Maybe well, they had to take those leaves off for counselling or something. I don't know whether or not he bundled them together. Do you reckon he got gravel rash on his knob? Probably. Mm. I've got another story to talk about in a minute about that. The staff from the hotel did ask if he was all right, but he was in a terrible state. He's got no recollection of the behaviour described. Unsurprisingly... This is relating to some information that he took drugs ranging from coke to cannabis and then downed it with some alcohol. When he was interviewed, he was mortified at the suggestion of what happened, basically saying, I f***ed a pile of leaves. Only when piecing together the information, he was accepting of that. The state of events is he can't explain his behaviour. It's something that's been it's, – it's not something that's been brought before the beat before. No, it's a new one, I'd have to say. You'd have to write that in his little book, wouldn't he? He's not going to return to the pub. I think he's got a bar. And he got eight <laughs> weeks. So eight weeks in the slammer for trying to f*** a pile of leaves. Imagine walking out into the general pop of the jail and like, what are you here for, son? Someone's got access to the net. One of the, one of the yeah. screws yeah. has given him access to the net and they're going, that's the bloke that tried to f*** a pile of leaves. <laughs> now, have at with that information as much as you will. Well, I reckon his jail nickname would have had to be Russell. <laughs> I'm angry. Yeah. Very angry. Now, I know you're angry about your, your theatre trip today, and you're pissed, and you want to, like, throat punch right? pricks. Now, I don't know if you're up against the news of the time. We're in catastrophic bushfire period, of course. And well, our- as we record today, we're in very high. We're not very in catastrophic. Well, but it's still bad. It's, it's the whole state is burning. Anyway, not long ago, there was a press conference with the Greens... And a women's rights activist. And I just want to have a bit of a chat about this. A little bit of a rant. 
actually. I'm now, are, you, really, are, you, are you going to attack females or just attack the comments of this person? The comments of this person. Go I for it. I don't care yeah. if she was... You ha- no, you have permission to do so. Go for it. So there's a... Uh, 